this is a tool we've come up with so that you can mail merge your data in a spreadsheet and put it straight into an email you can design the email in google mail and it's got some nice little features you can set a recipient first name last name we've got the opportunity for you to put in a carbon copy a blind carbon copy uh, we've got three attachments although uh, we can develop it to add some more if you want and also it's got a little status thing here to say if the email has been sent or not you can also create as many columns in the spreadsheet as you like so for instance i'm going to add one here and we'll call it cake and we might put in some details maybe i might like chocolate and this one we'll have sponge okay so you can put in attachments and the way that you do this is you go to your Google Drive and you create a folder and then you put files into this Google Drive like I have here. Now these files, they can be Google Documents and what will happen in the process of mail merging, it will convert them into a PDF to send them via the email. Okay, so we've got these here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this address but I'm only taking the end part. You see the bit that's after forward slash folders, and that's called the folder ID. Don't include the forward slash, and just copy that bit. And now we're gonna go back to here. And at the top, we've got on the menu, there's a special menu option here called Mail Merge. And if I press that, and then press List Files in a Folder, we're then gonna paste that folder ID in, and press OK. And it then creates us a new sheet on the spreadsheet, which says file list, and then it will be a unique number down at the bottom. And you can do this several times for different folders if you want to. And then here, you get the names of the file, you get the file ID, the last time it was updated, and also the size of the file. The only bits that we actually need uh, are maybe the file ID, you could use the file name plus we've got a little section here for your key and what i'm going to do here is just say perhaps that's for this email address and maybe that is for that email address and what we're going to do is then we're going to look those up for the attachments so rather than you have to copy and paste in every single file id we do a v lookup so if i do equals v look up open brackets let's say the search key what we're searching for so i will press on recipient then put a comma and then the range so we're going to go to our list and we will highlight all of those comma then index which one are we going to return well that's one that's two that's three so we're going to return the file id that's the third column along so i'm going to put three in there and then it says is sorted well i'm going to put in false for that and now when i press enter you'll see that it's now put in the file id and to move that all the way down the list you just double click on the little box and there we go so what we're now going to do is create our email so if i press compose i can then write a message you don't need anything in the two box And then what we're going to do is put in our merged field names. And this is the name at the top of the spreadsheet. So if I go back to the spreadsheet, see here, we've got first name. Now this is case sensitive. So if you put, put capital N in here, it won't work. Uh, so we'll go back, put in that, and say, a cake put really cake as well that's just a so it completes the sentence sorry my typing right and now what we're going to do we're not going to send that because we've got no recipients we're going to close it and um, as we've closed it, 
uh, it's now saved it as a draft. So what we're going to do, actually, if I go to my sent items, we'll just, sorry, if we go to my draft items, we will just go down and look what the title of that is. We're going to copy the title. And now to send our message, I'm going to go mail merge, send emails, and then I'm going to put in the name of the message and we wait a few seconds and while we're waiting uh, you'll see updates appear on the bottom right of the screen it takes a few seconds to get going and then once it's started it does it really fast there you can see that it's telling us it's done row two and now it's doing row three and a few seconds later it will appear with the date that the message was sent and if we go to our inbox, go to the sent items, we can then see that we've got two messages. I hope you're having a better. I baked you a chocolate cake because that's what was in the information and that's there as well. And you can also see that we've got the attachment.